Wrestling. The referee at whom you are looking right now is Don Evans. Dirty Don Evans, if you will. But Don Evans, for sure. And he is in there to handle a match that should be a tough one because we've got two guys in there who in the 1950s and 1960s were extremely capable of taking care of themselves. The man refusing to shake hands is Iron Mike DiBiase, who met his death in the ring in Amarillo some years after this match took place, and whose son is wrestling today. The man he just threw through the ropes and who is bouncing right back again is Rocky Colombo. And Rocky Colombo was one of the better of the up-and-coming wrestlers in the early 1960s. Rocky, too, has um, passed on to the great athletic commission in the sky that handles his bookings right now, but Rocky in his day was the kind of a fellow who flew through the air with the greatest of disregard for his own uh, safety and his own body and who was as fast as Iron Mike. Iron Mike went from champion of the Navy to the national amateur championships and then into the professional ranks and was always a tough rugged solid individual iron mike dibiase when they named him iron mike they knew what they were doing but don't overlook the third man in the ring uh, dirty don evans who was a big factor in texas wrestling former texas heavyweight uh, champion he lives in upstate New York right now and has a huge farm in, in that area. And uh, I don't know if they still call him Dirty Don, but uh, Don would be pleased uh, if, he, if they did. But he was a solid customer, too. But here are three men who were part and parcel of uh, Texas wrestling at the time when the great series of films, the Texas wrestling were made and are still being played in some parts of, of the world. Now, Don Evans' presence in that ring proves that for this particular match, they needed a strong hand who was capable of moving with the wrestlers on an even basis. Colombo came to the uh, wrestling wars in Texas about the same time that uh, Larry Shane came here. And Larry Shane was much the same in his fast and rapid movements as Rocky Colombo is proving to be here. Rocky came from New York and in his conversation and in his actions he was the typical New York street tough guy and this is the way he grew up and this is the way he acted in the ring. There was never any uh, subterfuge about Rocky Colombo. He would tell you what he thought and he would do what he thought was right in that ring and here against Iron Mike he is trying to prove that particular point. Don Evans watching the hole closely you can bet that Iron Mike is down there screaming something about it being a stranglehold and Evans is looking close to make sure that it, that it isn't. Although Evans when he was in the ring he earned that name Dirty Don. So on top is Iron Mike, and you, I thought I noticed a lot of difference. Well, look at the difference in the count, and you'll see that Iron Mike is getting a little faster count. Somebody's objecting on the outside of the ring, and we do not have the camera on him. Now, if this was made today, and I told our director, Ed Worthington, to shift the camera outside the ring, he would do it in an instant. As a matter of fact, he wouldn't have to be told. But in the days of Texas wrestling films, things were just a little bit different. They didn't have as many cameras around, but they did have fine wrestlers, and we are trying to keep their memory alive by showing you some of the action that took place. And right now, Don Evans uh, is part of that action, and with Rocky Colombo on top, something is happening that should happen. The referee should be counting Iron Mike down, and we're going to have to leave you here with the nostalgia of never having known exactly what took, took place, because um, we have just a limited time for you to dream about the good old days of wrestling. <laughs>